Hi and welcome to another tutorial to beautify your line chart, including variances. But first, let's do the introduction. My name is Catherine. I'm managing partner of Yoda BI, founder of Colors of Fabric and Power Platform User Group. All content which is related to this tutorial, like the demo files, you can find or find on GitHub. You can write me an email, you can uh, go on my blog, watch uh, or read some blog articles, or uh, do my data escape room, which is very new. You can also follow me on LinkedIn or YouTube if not already. Done. <laughs> okay, let's start with the tutorial. So today I will show you how you can create out of a line chart, a line chart including variances, so that it look like the first one and then I will show you with some clicks how you can uh, go through the one below. Here's a little um, yeah, mm, description how we can do it and let's start with the exercise page. So let's start blank. Of course we uh, uh, copy the description here so we can follow them and if you want you can uh, do it directly so go on github download uh, the file and the measures and then we can start together. First, we need a line chart, of course. <laughs> so we go to the right and click on the line chart. First thing we have to do here, then we make it a bit smaller. And you see now we have a frame where we can fill in our data. And what data do we need? We have here uh, x-axis, y, and secondary x-axis. So let's start with the x-axis first year and month number of years. So let's go to our date, grab the year and the month number of the year. And that's the first, but not in the Y. So we need it in the X axis here. Okay, now it's better. Then revenue in previous year. I will type it here so it's a bit easier to find because I have many revenue here. <laughs> okay, let's go down and there we will find it behind my picture. And the previous year, of course, we need as well and put it also in the y-axis. Okay, then the secondary, uh, we have here the uh, positive and negative lines. I created the measures before, you can find them in the Git repository. So, pause and we also need the next line and there it is and we put it here and now you see that look, oh, that's, that's looking very wide. <laughs> okay, but um, don't panic, uh, we will make it more beautiful <laughs> later. Okay, let's start with the y-axis. So we go to the brush here and there we can format everything uh, you want uh, regarding the line chart. So as I mentioned, uh, we open the x-axis. I know it's 0.2, but that doesn't matter. We start with this one. Turn off the title, that's the first thing. And then we go to the y-axis, turn off the, the values and the title. And we have also, uh, if we uh, read it correctly, we need the y1-axis um, to set the line above uh, so the uh, variance line above the revenue and previous line. So uh, we have to go to the max. Uh, don't uh, mix it up, otherwise uh, it won't work. So we have to click on maximum. And then we have here to find our um, Y1. There it is, Y1 max line, and that's it. Okay, then we can close this one. So, okay. And next, the secondary, open it, go on min, and here we need the 
y2 line and that is click on OK and now you see the line is going up so it's not um, in the previous year and the revenue anymore and then we can put on the variances the positive and negative uh, so yeah so it doesn't um, mix up and disturb the <laughs> the view of the visual uh, okay then the legend uh, we have to uh, turn it off turn it off and then going a bit down we have here as well the line I will make sure that you can see something here so here we go okay uh, in the line we need to uh, put it on one so it looks a bit uh, cleaner so I like it if it's more uh, if it's smaller so you, if you want to change all lines at once you can click on once in series and then you can uh, go again here and click on uh, one so the negative line uh, we don't need so we can hide it so we make it very small zero <laughs> and uh, then we can also change uh, the colors of course of our lines so the revenue for example um, I like to change the color of revenue to dark blue um, of course it's my standard color for revenue and the previous year I like to change to uh, gray light gray so that it doesn't uh, yeah, disturb the view uh, so that only the, the revenue is in focus and of course we need uh, the um, positive line um, this one will gray as well but a darker gray and we can instead of solid we make it dashed so now now it looks like maybe a bit more uh, like the uh, chart in the beginning and I see we uh, missed the secondary we have still the values on which we need to switch off so that now we have a cleaner view here so and I see that also we uh, haven't changed here the uh, the sorting so you see here we have 2013 and then the, the numbers of the months are mixed up if you want to change it you can click on the right of the visual and there is sort access and then you can go on year month number of the year then it changed but it's not still correct because now the month starts with 12 so with December which is not correct so we have go again on sort access and say sort uh, ascending and now it is a bit better and now we see here uh, the previous year and the um, revenue start to uh, dividing so um, I go with this view so if you don't want to see all of the years of course you can go on the filters and there you can open the filter area or the filter pane and there you can click on the basic filtering we don't need the advanced here and then you can choose for example let's go to 2013 there it is now oh, it looks better not too much data here uh, otherwise you can um, lose the focus okay um, then we can hide the filter uh, bar again so click on this arrow and let's go on uh, the variances are still missing and of course the markers are still missing so let's uh, go back to our brush uh, close uh, the lines and then we open the markers um, I will uh, scroll down a bit so and then uh, of course we need for our revenue we need uh, markers so it looks a bit uh, nicer uh, we can make the marker size a bit smaller for the previous year of course we can also uh, turn on the markers if we want that then it looks like this and the last thing we have to do is to um, integrate the error bars so the variances on top and we can do this uh, in the analysis pane which is uh, the spyglass beside the brush on top and there you find the error bars and here we have to put if you see in our description 
in our positive line. Let's choose this first. In the positive line, we have above target line, so we search for above target line in my variance line chart and put it in the upper bound. And we, of course, we have to turn it on. And then we have to go a bit down and there we will find the bars. So we can turn here the color on green. Uh, so yes, upper bound, but that's right. Okay. And we can also make it a bit bigger. Uh, also the color of the border. We can make a bit bigger and that looks better. Okay, then we can uh, switch back to the negative line, open it, and here we have the lower bound in the below target. So the below target line in the lower bound. We switch it on, we go to the bars, choose the color, red of course here, uh, make it a bit bigger, also change the border color to red, and we can also make the border color a bit bigger, so to two for example. We see we have no negatives here. Um, also we can switch on the error labels if we want that, and then we can also say the label format we could change, we could also change the color and so on. Uh, in this case we don't need that. And then let's go back to the positive line, also switch on the error label so that we can see here the numbers. And that's it. So now we have our um, chart with variances, our line chart with variances. And we can, uh, for example, change here the country and you see that it is working. So we have in Canada, for example, we have some negatives here. Uh, good to see that also the variance in the negative area is working. And if you want to, for example, to change the lines now. So if we, I see we missed, we missed the serious level. So you can go back to the brush and then we can switch on the serious labels. And then you see here, we can also uh, change it. Uh, so we can say, for example, in the post line, we don't need it. And also the negative line, we don't need the uh, description here. But uh, for the revenue and the privacy, of course, we need it. Uh, we could also say, okay, post line, um, we want to switch it on. But then uh, I would change the name uh, from positive line uh, to delta uh, actual year and previous year. So if we want to change the name, click on the visual, click on fields, click on uh, the positive line here and simply change the name. And then now it's a bit yeah, better. Okay, if you want to change now the line, um, for example, the previous year, because you don't need the line, you want, for example, a shaded area, then you can go to the brush again. Uh, we can um, switch on the shade area and then you see, oh, okay, everything is switched on now. It's very simple. You can uh, turn off the revenue. Uh, you can uh, stay with your previous year, of course, in, in, in light gray. And one small change I would make is I would go to the lines and I would uh, disable the previous year line as well as the marker because uh, this is a bit... Uh, yeah, disturbing for the eye <laughs> as the previous year and uh, turn it up. And now you see we have here a gray area instead of line um, and it works uh, the same way as before. Uh, so in A, of course, there is no data, but in the rest, you see now it is working. I hope it helps and maybe we see us in the next tutorial. Don't forget to watch uh, or to go on my blog to see the data escape room challenge yourself in different uh, areas uh, data modeling ducks and so on and if you like the video give it a thumbs up thumbs up and uh, if you have uh, recommendations uh, please give me a comment below and that's it for now 
we see us in the next tutorial. Bye bye!